Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at these TP4056 modules. And these are the little lithium ion, the lithium polymer uh, charging circuits. So I've got a couple old cell phone batteries that I would like to uh, use for an upcoming project uh, that need to be charged at least somewhat safely. Uh, these have protection circuits in them already, as uh, basically all cell phone batteries do. So I just went ahead and got the uh, normal ones that didn't have the uh, protection circuit on the board because like I said that's already in the battery so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, there's quite a few different versions, well at least there's uh, three different versions of these things. You can get the most basic one which I did which is just the TP4056 uh, chip on the board. There's no protection at all. Uh, there's one that has low voltage detection on it if you're, if you're using uh, low voltage cells and you're going to run a load off of them through the board. And then there's another one that actually has uh, temperature uh, detection of the battery as well as a low voltage detection, I think. Uh, so I just went ahead and got these. I think these are $5.30 for uh, all five of them here. Uh, free shipping from China. Uh, I bought these on Amazon. Uh, there's a few, these probably wouldn't have been the ones that I preferred, but uh, I think there were some for like $4.95 with uh, free shipping if you decided to spend $50, which I didn't really want to do, so anyway, these are the little boards, seem reasonably well made, should just be able to snap one of these off, I'm pretty sure, yep, here we go, and these have uh, mini USB on them. Uh, the other ones that I was looking at had uh, micro USB on them, which uh, would have been a little bit better for normal use, but uh, I'm actually probably going to end up just soldering wires to these and hooking them up, uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. And these should be set up to charge at uh, 1 amp, so there's not too much on there. Uh, a couple of capacitors, the chip itself, a couple of LEDs and the uh, resistors for that, and one of those will be uh, something like a current shunt resistor, I do believe, or something like that. Maybe that's what this is for. It looks like a jumper though with the zero on it, so I'm not real sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and hook this up to uh, one of these batteries and see what we can do with it. All right, so I have this battery hooked up here in the safest way possible, just by twisting the wires around here. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to do that because uh, your voltage measurement off the battery won't be quite as accurate uh, but it will be good enough for a simple little test. So I've got one of these little uh, USB charger doctor things and a power bank to actually uh, see what this does. So I should be able to tell them how much current is actually going into the battery with this too because most likely uh, the voltage uh, the voltage excess because this will only be about a 4.2 volt volt uh, battery at the highest as you can see this is at five and a quarter and all that voltage will probably be dropped across this chip as like a resistor uh, so most likely the current going into it and the current coming out of it will be very similar so uh, there we go pulling about 680 milliamps there not quite the full one amp and looks like we have a little red light there. I think this uh, blue light turns on once it's, uh, oh, no, it's green. You see that turn on when I juggle the wire. There you go. Green light turns on when it's fully charged. And of course, since I don't have a very good connection, as soon as that gets uh, loosened, it uh, thinks that the battery's charged because the voltage shoots up. Alright, so let's just check what the uh, output voltage of this is real quick. Looks like we're already at 4.2 volts, so uh, that battery's mostly charged. And I'm going to end up wiring these two in parallel, actually. And this one might actually be full already, too. These have been sitting around for a few years, too. I wasn't really expecting them to be completely full <laughs> or close to. Alright, so this battery apparently has about 3.9 volts in it, which is probably to the point where these are close enough together uh, to where I can solder them. You can see this has already gone into a uh, constant voltage mode where it's starting to drop off the uh, current. So that seems to work fine. I'll go ahead and. Uh, 
stick both of these batteries together so we can have a little bit more capacity out of them. All right, so that was fairly easy. Uh, I have two batteries uh, just soldered together here. These are in parallel, so uh, they're negative to negative, positive to positive. Uh, from what the markings show on the front of this battery, the uh, LG one, I have those wires stuck in the right place, just so you know. Uh, that's what it, that's where it says that uh, positive and negative are supposed to be. Usually they're on the outside terminals, I thought, but I don't know, I'm just going with what's marked on the battery. Uh, but anyway, the one on the top here, the Samsung battery, that is a 1600 milliamp hour battery. This other one's a 1500 milliamp hour battery, so that ends up being about 3100 milliamp hours worth of old cell phone batteries, considering they're uh, still in reasonable shape. Um, but we just got this little charger module stuck on here. And it sh it's as easy as that to uh, set up a single cell lithium ion battery pack with integrated charging circuit at this point. So let's go ahead and uh, hook this in and see if it still actually turns on. At least a little red light comes on and it draws current. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, about uh, 0.71 amps, so it is indeed drawing current and charging the batteries, so uh, the only thing I have to be careful with is not to short these ends out. Uh, I'll eventually have these soldered onto something, but anyhow, it's a quick look at uh, setting up one of these TP4056 charging boards. Uh, actually, it is fairly simple. You just solder some wires on there. Uh, you can also solder wires onto uh, this side for the input power. It just takes 5 volts uh, going into the board. Same as USB here. But uh, Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick look at the uh, TP4056. And that's it for now, guys. Bye.